Always leaving the keys. Right, so I used to try and talk on this without having coffee, and I've realised that I used to look like shit, sound like shit, whatever. So I don't say nothing now till I've had a coffee. Good old Greg's. I can't. I'm not allowed to eat anything else out of Greg's. I used to love the sausage rolls, and I'm not allowed to eat them anymore. So I'm on a pan of chocolate and a, a normal coffee. We are on our way to. FW Developments, which is Frank Raffles, which is the dyno with the two RC45s and the SP2. So I've told you this for a few weeks that this was going to happen, and we are finally got some gaskets for the SP2, so it's ready. The new engine's in the 45, and then the white one needs checking, running and checking. There's going to be a clip in here at some point, you see, so it didn't run right, and I'm going to get Christy to put that in whenever it's acceptable of what we found in the bike, which is absolutely horrendous but yeah so stay tuned for some serious noises that you probably haven't heard for about 20 years with some classic super bikes and stuff first i'm gonna drink my coffee and eat my pan of chocolate and i'm waiting for neil because he's stuck in traffic because he drives like a bloody fairy so all good neil say hello, say, hello, say hello neil you're on the vlog you are you're on the vlog Who's on the vlog? You are, say hello. Bollocks. Bollocks. <laughs> <laughs> Hurry up and get out of bed. From Nile Horn. Here are two of the beautiful ladies. Oh, I'm excited to hear this. So this one needs running in. This one is just getting run to check the my head's gone blank. New gasket and stuff, make sure everything's right because it's only just been bought. Nothing serious, literally just a run. But this Black 45 has had a new engine in and it is going to do some decent dyno time. Neil's got the other white 45 that we just bought. So it had a problem when we bought it that it's, it was, the guy seemed to think that there was something wrong with the secondary injector or it wasn't working right. So basically it was bought on the terms of when we get it fixed, then we're going to let them know what, what the crack is. So we had a quick look in the tank <laughs> to check and this is what we found. Christy's going to put the clip in now. Right, so this is like, I forgot to bring my camera, but we were wondering why the bike wasn't running right. Look in there and... We've already taken that out. Mm. Love Hondas, Neil, don't you? <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Stinking. Mental. So, Neil's got it in his van. We've got the tank all cleaned out now and everything, and injectors and stuff, so we're gonna bring it, give it a run, see if it's running right. Everything's fine with that. So all three bikes are going on the dyno. Black one first because it needs the most work doing, obviously running in and stuff, and then the other two. So yeah, stay tuned for some beautiful sounding old classic super bikes. Let's see if she will actually. Do you think she's going to start? Well, I want to start. Because you, you've been working on it. <laughs> right. Right, so we've just got it started up, and like I said before, this, this bike needs running in, so that's going to be quite a long, slow process. So I'm not going to bother vlogging any of that, but once, basically from now to, excuse me, I'm not going to bother vlogging that, because it's going to be a bit boring. But once we get it running, and then we do a power run and stuff on it, I'm going to bring you guys back in with me then, and let you see that.
some what? Oh, sorry. You want to give me some information for the vlog? Yeah. Where so we we're, were just speaking. Take this off my head. We we're just speaking there now, so we don't have any current data on this dyno for this bike because they've never been here before. But there's another guy, Neil, not our Neil here, that was the original engine tuner for V and M and stuff. So this is who's built this motor, and they were hoping for like sort of mid fifties, and that's exactly what it is. Frank's going to give me a screen grab, like what we did on the R six, and I'm going to chuck it in now into the dyno but same thing again it's got a race tire in as well so yeah. that's going to be another couple of horsepower so yeah you're going to see in the corner now some stats for you people that want to see some stats so it's fully run in power run that's that motor now ready ready to go and do the the classic tt yeah yeah i've got nothing to add no comments that's good <laughs> yeah. feels good uh yeah it's making power at the limit so if you could rev it more it might make some more power but yeah we, we don't want to. <laughs> we don't want to do that. That's enough for you, anyway. <laughs> right, so we're going to now go and grab the white forty-five, bring it in, and see if we can see what was the problem is what was in the tank and stuff, and give it a run and see how it goes. Okay, so this this motor is like a sort of best spec that you can possibly get at the minute for an RC forty-five. The other white one is just a kit bike, well a kit motor and stuff. So we'll probably expect to see one hundred and thirty-five no horsepower. Idea, something that you know. to yeah, so obvious. at least we'll get a comparison now and we'll see what the see what the difference is hurry up will you we're trying to get the thing on the bloody dyno puffing and puffing it turned up late because you were eating a big fat breakfast now you don't want to do any work when you're here how are we going to get that in there you don't have to roll it down need to find some to hold down what you think that's like a factory 45 part Not so you're supposed to use the F word. What, a factory or a Yeah. A fat. <laughs> Can you use a roll? Huh? Oh, yeah, we could use a roll, couldn't we? Um, See if she'll start really first. Really Just try and start it first. Not yeah. that brilliant, though, no, really, but. So I didn't want to go back in because um, we've got quite a bit of footage of the dyno and stuff. But I'll I'll chuck a print out of both bikes uh, and try and get some engine specs for both bikes. But one of them is like proper proper motor, and this one's like a decent kit motor. So um, I'll put both printouts for both runs on. I'll put the second one on now, and the other one's already been put on.
Right, so we've tried that fuel now and it's like made absolutely... A little bit better for it than mid. But not a lot. Not a lot no. Yeah. So, but to be fair, the, the other fuel is obviously our BSB race fuel, so they're both race fuel. It wasn't like pump fuel versus race fuel, so we weren't really expecting a big a big jump. But um, yeah, at least we know it runs me, so that's the bike tried. Really happy with the engine. So now we're going to put the SB2 on, so this thing's going to be so loud in here. Go on then. You push it in. Neil, you've done nothing all day. Just push it on the bloody ramp. Camera. You're out of breath already, aren't you? What horsepower, what horsepower do you think she's going to have? I'm saying one, 138. I have no idea what this is. Do you want to take a guess? We better pound. No thanks. Come on. No, uh, or dinner. Dinner? What, are you all going to buy yeah, dinner? Yeah, dinner. Whoever's closest doesn't have to pay for dinner. Come on. What, what are you saying? 145. Right, shake. <laughs> I've already know what it is. <laughs> no, I'm not I'm joking. Oh, what are you doing? What are you borrowed? Get out of the way, camera, Neil. I'm not Get out of the way. Fat ankles. <laughs> no, sorry, were you doing an interview with Frank? I was late. Oh, it was like a big build up to me. Oh, no, sorry, man. Never mind. Take two. Right, so um, we've come here a little bit unprepared. So we don't actually have the plug-in lead for this bike because we weren't really expecting to be doing this sort of thing. But Frank's just give it a run, and it's like really lean. Is that showing it there now? Yeah. So. Oh, I'm um, seeing that. I'm talking. Yeah. So if we look at the air fuel ratio, we're up at so sort of 15, 16 to one. Um, and what should it be at? Uh, around 13. Yeah. To one, so. so what would that do? Like possibly nip. Well, you're running the risk of damage to the engine, so yeah. not, not enough fuel building heat, detonation, that sort of thing. So we just yeah. want to avoid any potential issues. <laughs> so, um, so that's why we've not revved it, yeah. it, it fully, you know, indicate that straight away and just and yeah. do something about it or... Um, yeah, but stop. we can go and we could, if we get some of the plug-in leads and stuff, we can bring yeah, it back exactly. in the we future. Just, and yeah, or, you know, or need to just look at the fuel system. Yeah. Um, if the bike's been stood or anything, again, I like was seen yeah. this morning. It could be any issue like that. So the key is, A, we know that it's not like a, a false reading, like we're, yeah. we're bleeding air in because the power doesn't, the power curve doesn't look too nice yeah, at that yeah. point either. 
yeah. Okay. You, there we go. So that's even more information you got. Uh, I don't understand any of that. Obviously, it's <clears throat> Frank's too clever for me. But um, we basically wanted to run it to make sure it run right. The gearbox, everything was right. So we'll go and see if we can get a lender, uh, the plug-in lead and stuff off someone, or, or try and buy one, and then maybe give it a give it another run in the future and see what actual horsepower and stuff it's got. But. Just for proof, right, so he hasn't revved it, which meant that I picked the lower number of horsepower. So that means that Neil's buying dinner. <laughs> Let's go tell him, see how happy he is. Let's see. Neil, you're buying dinner. 123 horsepower. <laughs> yeah. No, yeah, but he can't, so that means... I haven't had it rev yet. Yeah, but he can't, he can't, so that means you have to buy dinner. I'd say that's Yes! I don't give a shit. I'll take a win any which way. I've won a TT with two laps, Frank. Yeah, <laughs> Right, that's us done. Bikes are in the van, ready to set off. Uh, gonna go grab a bite of dinner now with Neil, because obviously he's paying. So I'm gonna. I'm. I'm not even really that hungry, but I'm just gonna eat stuff for the sake of it, trying to get it out of him. Um, thanks as always for watching. Next few vlogs are gonna be about going to speed and testing and stuff. So it's gonna be loads of different stuff in there. So uh, yeah, take care. Thanks. Oh, like and subscribe.